Hello, brothers and sisters. Mark McManus, UA General President here at UA Headquarters. And I want to speak to you guys and gals directly, the members of the United Association, on two great pieces of legislation that uh, come our way out of Washington, D.C. You know, a lot of times uh, we're directing your attention on playing defense on some of the things that come out of Washington, D.C. that aren't great for the membership. But it's, it's uh, worthwhile to say uh, what has transpired in these last two weeks. The first is the bipartisan CHIPS uh, uh, Science uh, Invention Act. Uh, it has Davis-Bacon protections in that act, which was very, very important to us, and apprenticeship standards. That act alone is worth $52.7 billion, which is right in the UA's wheelhouse of work. Every two million, um, every $10 billion is 2 million man hours for the United Association. That's just absolutely incredible. So $52.7 billion, it's about 10 million man hours for the United Association. And this is in the semiconductor world, the Intel world, uh, um, the Taiwan uh, conductors all across America, only, not only in Columbus, but in Oregon, in, in Phoenix, in Arizona, in Texas, in New York, all across uh, many of our different states. So that act to secure um, the chips in the semiconductor industry in the United States is beyond critical and fantastic work for the United Association. The other part of the legislation, or second piece of legislation, is the in Inflation Reduction Act. Um, this is a gold mine for all UA work. The funding um, that goes in there is going to be for existing nuclear power plants, which they desperately need. It's going to be for new nuclear power plants. It's going to be for small modular nukes. It's going to be for hydrogen, hydrogen hubs, carbon capture, natural gas. They have $500 million set aside for heat pumps, a billion dollars in retrofitting buildings, a billion and a half dollars for methane, five billion, five billion dollars on natural gas plants. $8 billion on hydrogen, $10 billion tax credits for new construction for manufacturing. These are critical, and there's billions of dollars in precious minerals and um, for the batteries as well. So all these things go right in the UA's uh, mantra of all the above energy approaches on both pieces of legislation. You know, um, we've been through a lot in this country and this world and in Canada as well the last year and a half, two years with the pandemic. The biggest lesson we may have all learned and hopefully the politicians have learned of both parties is that we need to bring things back to our shores, the manufacturing, especially the chips that are in every single thing that we touch today, you know, from dishwashers to cars to our military, uh, to certainly our phones and, and, and uh, the laptops and the computers we all use as well too. And we cannot be relying specifically on China for those things. I do honestly believe we are in a revolution of a manufacturing, uh, rebirth of manufacturing here in the United States. And it is a wonderful time to be part of the UA. And to have these protections, both in a bipartisan manner uh, of the chips and um, a standalone bill on the reconciliation with the Democrats. And I know I'm in the weeds here, but you know, quite honestly, a little bit of the disappointment is all of this should be bipartisan because this isn't a Democratic bill and this isn't a Republican bill. It's an American bill. And quite honestly, as the UA general president, I think it's a UA bill. That's, that's how important, that's where our work uh, opportunities are in front of us. If you're a 22 year member, uh, old member or you're a 50 year old member or you're a retired member, you know, it is a wonderful time to be in the UA for the amount of work that's in front of us right at this moment in the short term going forward and more importantly in the long term as well because we're not only going to build these uh, semiconductor um, and all the above energy um, pieces of infrastructure, we're going to maintain them as well, which is really, really good for the United Association. So, you know, it's been a really, really phenomenal couple years, longer, probably the best two years for the labor movement in anyone who is listening to this is lifetime, to be perfectly honest. We've gotten pension relief of $94 billion. We've got the onus uh, IRAPs off of our certified apprenticeship programs. We got a wonderful uh, Secretary of Labor. We got a $1.2 billion 
bipartisan infrastructure bill that is right up the UA's alley again on all those different things. The uh, auto plants, the, the battery plants, the manufacturing plants are exploding before our eyes with good labor protections and good seed money from the federal government that's putting uh, these programs together. So, you know, I congratulate uh, folks on both sides of the aisle that could work in a bipartisan manner. I uh, appreciate um, the leadership in Washington, D.C. on a lot of these things. And I certainly appreciate this administration stepping up for building trades work and the United Association's work. Perfect? No. But boy, oh boy, in my lifetime and your lifetime, there's never been an administration that has done as much for the United Association on these two pieces of legislation. And, you know, quite honestly, we got hurdles in front of us. Inflation's still high. The gas prices are, are still high, coming down in a lot of ways, but still too high. And that affects you in your pocketbooks and your take-home pay. I get that. But you know what? They're whittling away on those things, and the job opportunities are there for us because four years ago, the last the last four years, we lost four million jobs in this country. We're over eight million jobs in the last two years that we have grown. Keep beating expectations. So, you know, the, the jobs in the United Association and the workload in front of us in the United Association is, is astronomically high. So I'm sky high. I appreciate what you do. I hope you're having a great, great summer. I hope you have a great Labor Day through there. You have to be safe out on those job sites, and it is a wonderful time to have a UA book in your pocket. Be prideful about it and certainly be safe. Thanks for listening.